Hey guys, welcome to another section of our course, Python for Data Analysis. In this section, we'll be talking about control flow statements in Python. This statement allows us to control the flow of executions of our program based on certain conditions. So before we start coding, you know what you are meant to do. Subscribe to the channel and like the video. Let's code. 9 to 5 data. Control flow statements are like signposts in our code. They guide you through different parts depending on the specific conditions. Just like the signpost guides vehicle movement on the motorway. We are going to start our coding with the most basic and the most fundamental control flow statement, which is the if statement. So let's open our Jupyter notebook and start writing some code. If statement, it checks if an expression is true and if it is true, it performs a tax. So let's take an example, let's say x equals to 10. We are going to check if the value of x is greater than a specific number. And if that value is true, then we want a code to be executed. So for example, we can say if x is greater than 5, you print, you put a colon in front of this and put your enter key and say print x is greater than than 5. So if you run this now, we get x is greater than 5. And the reason why we are getting this is because 10 is greater than 5. So that is the most basic of the control flow, which is the if statement. So we can have if else statement. So for if else statement, we have the if condition and after the if condition, there's a block of code for it to be executed if that if condition is true. In a situation where the if condition at the top here is not true, so the code will run the block of code under the else condition. So let's take some example. Same thing we did earlier, x equals to 10. We'll run that. So we check if x is greater than 20. If the condition is true, what we want, we say print x is greater than 20 if the condition is false what do we want so we want to write the code if the condition if the condition is false that is the else part of the code and make sure it is in the same line with the if condition at the top so we don't need to specify any condition because the else is trying to tell us what if the if condition is wrong so what should we do so we put the block of code to be run on that else print s is not greater than s is not greater than 20. so let's run this and see the result we get so we get s is not greater than 20 because this condition at the top is false so it can't print the one underneath the if condition because the if condition is false and once the if condition is false the next code that will run is the one under the s condition so that is why we are getting s is not greater than 20 because we have already specified that if the condition is not true then what do we want as our output which is s is not greater than 20. so that is for if s statement so we have another kind of control flow which is known as elif statement so elif statement it is a combination of else and if the syntax is that if condition one is true we want a block of code to be executed if the condition one is true so we can have elif condition two we can have another condition apart from condition one and we want to check okay if condition one is true then this code should be run okay if condition one is not true okay we have another condition we want to check for that is when we use the elif statement, the elif key word that, okay, 
we have condition one that is not true and we want to check for condition two if condition two is true what block of code we want to run we have the block of code to be executed if condition two is true but if condition one is false condition two is false then we have another block of code under else which should be run so let's take example and we say x equals to 10 and we run that so we put our condition here now the first condition is if x is greater than 15 we want our output to be print x is greater than 15. We can also put a second condition to check. Elif s is greater than 5. So if this condition is true, what block of code do we want to run? We can say print s is greater than 5. But not greater than 15 so this gets printed if this second condition is true so what if the two conditions are both false so we have our s block of code which will say print x is less than or equals to 5. So this is our control statement now. The first thing we define is the first condition. So if this condition is false, then we give a second condition to be checked. So if the second condition is also false, then we have a block of code that will be printed. But if one of these conditions is true, we have the block of code that will be printed. So let's run this and see the output we get. So we get S is greater than 5 but not greater than 15. So that means our second condition is being executed. So if we check S is equals to 10 and definitely S is greater than 5 but not greater than 15. So that is the ELIF statement. It is used to check for multiple condition. So let's move to the next one which is the nested if and for nested if what we are doing is that we have another if statement inside a if statement so let's take an example and let's do our x equals to 10 equals to 10 and we can check let's write our first condition if s is greater than 5 what should be done if this is true is that We'll check again if s is less than 15. Say so if s is less than 15. What should be done if this condition is true is print s is between 5 and 15 s we can say so if this code is not true if this condition if none of these conditions are true we say s print s is between one and four so let's run this code so because s is greater than five but it's less than 15 we are getting s is between 5 and 15. So if we put a lower number, let's say s equals to 4, and we'll run the same code. So we should get the s condition because s is between 1 and 4. So sometimes you have to be careful the way you are defining your logic because for example if i put 12 let's say s equals to 12 and i run the same code you see i get s is between 5 and 15. so it is because 12 is still within 5 and 15 so 
let's run a number that is larger than 15 s equals to 16 and run the same code so now we don't get an output because we have not specified a condition to capture this event or this kind of scenario because s is greater than 5 that is for sure but s is also greater than 15 so which we don't have a condition that is picking this up so that is why it is important to define your logic or your control flow statement to capture what you are trying to achieve so we have come to the end of this control flow statement and we have talked about the if if else early if and the nested if so don't forget to like put your question in the comment section and subscribe to this channel happy coding